All right, the weather is pretty quiet out there right now, but it is a cold. We've got 20s and 30s on the map. Your morning commute to work and to school should be just fine. And then heading into later on this evening tonight through tomorrow morning, that's when the yeah, the real rough stuff starts to arrive. We've got it deemed as an alert day, mainly that time frame from later on this evening through Tuesday morning. The threat for some strong damaging winds, heavy rain, and maybe even some localized flash flooding as well because of some of the uh, the very heavy rain that we're expecting. This is a very powerful storm system in that there's a lot of wind energy with it. Most of us will get through lunchtime without seeing any rain and we probably won't even see much in the way of rain starting to move into our western counties until after about two three o'clock this afternoon and then you'll notice in time for the uh, the commute home this is at five o'clock a little bit later on today you can start to see some of that rain now approaching uh, areas west of i-65 especially maybe some of our southern counties but the real heavy stuff starts to roll in after that this is at 10 o'clock and you can see on the future cast that looks like a very a uh, horrible sloppy mess that will not be very fun to drive in and then heading into the overnight period. So especially after midnight, we'll start to get a little more organization, especially to the southern end of this line here down into uh, let's say areas south of I-20 by 4 a.m. on Tuesday morning. It looks even a little more organized. The higher threat for severe storms will be to our south, but we'll really have to keep an eye on some of our southern counties. But that is still some very heavy rain, some of that heavy rain moving over some of the same areas. And so as far as forecast rain totals, I think on average, most of us get at least one to two inches area wide, but there could very well be some spots that get maybe on the order of three, perhaps even some isolated four inch amounts. Those three and four inch amounts look a little more likely though as you go further south and off to the south and east. So we should still get some beneficial rain from this. But if it happens in some of the same areas kind of in a short period of time, that's when we could see some of that localized flash flooding through the day today. Winds are going to get very gusty. Look at some of these numbers. You guys by six o'clock later on this evening or anywhere from 25 to 35 mile an hour wind gusts, and then it really starts to pick up overnight tonight. Shortly after midnight, now we're looking at winds maybe on the order of 40 to 45 miles an hour perhaps even higher than that in some of the higher elevations. And so that could certainly bring down maybe some smaller trees, especially if it's been raining and the ground is already wet, maybe even cause a few scattered power outages too. Then we should start to see the wind subside at least a little bit by Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon though, it's still gonna be pretty gusty. Let me show you that severe weather risk map. So for our friends and family down along the immediate Gulf Coast and the Panhandle, uh, down toward uh, Mobile and Fairhope, those areas are under an elevated risk to see a few tornadoes. As you come further north though, that threat is less likely, but you can see a few of our southern counties under a, uh, a slight risk to see maybe an isolated severe storm or two. And the main threat for us will be some strong damaging winds, perhaps up to 60 miles an hour. That's severe risk 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's tonight into tomorrow morning. So you got to have some alerts that uh, that'll wake you up, whether it be from your no weather radio or from your phone. Lots of 20s and 30s on the map right now. Here's a look at our forecast through the day today. Again, those winds start to pick up. The rain picks up as we head after dark, and that'll continue into the overnight period as well. All right, as far as numbers through the week, we get colder for Wednesday. More storms by Friday. Back to you. All right.